Hi, my name is Alexander Smith, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today, I'm going to show you the basics of 3D sketching in SolidWorks by creating this wireframe shape. The first thing I need to do, now that I'm in this brand new part file, is start the 3D sketch. To do that, I'll select the drop-down arrow below the sketch icon and click 3D Sketch. I'll start off this 3D sketch by sketching a rectangle. As we can see, my cursor now has a large XY beneath it, and the origin has two red arrows on it. The letters beneath my cursor refer to which plane I am currently sketching parallel to, and the red arrows on the origin highlight the two axes that make up that plane. What this means is that if I begin sketching right now, my sketch entities are going to lie on a plane that is parallel to the XY plane, more commonly known as the front plane. I can cycle through the available sketching planes by hitting tab on my keyboard. Using this, I can also sketch parallel to the YZ or right plane, as well as the ZX or top plane. I'd like my rectangle to be parallel to the ZX plane, which I currently have selected, so I can go ahead and sketch it. Next, I'll add some dimensions. Even after adding the dimensions, this sketch is still underdefined. If I click and drag on a corner of the rectangle, it becomes clear why. In a 2D sketch, we would use horizontal and vertical relations to fully define our rectangle. In a 3D sketch, however, these relations are not available unless we're sketching on a plane, and instead we have some new types of relations specific to the 3D sketch environment that we can see in our property manager. These new relations are along X, along Y, and along Z, which will snap the selected line to be running along the X, Y, or Z axis. To fully define my rectangle, I'll add an along Z relation to this line and an along X relation to this line. Now, I'd like to sketch a line from the center of the rectangle using an along Y relation. When I place the first endpoint of the line, the red triad moves to that point, showing me where my current sketch entity is starting. I'll hit tab so that I'm sketching parallel to the XY plane. We can also see that when sketching the line, the yellow inference lines show an outline of the plane I'll be sketching on. I can also use these inference lines to automatically add the along Y relation while sketching. Then I'll add a dimension to fully define it. I'd now like to sketch another rectangle attached to the top endpoint of the line. And to do that, I'll first create a new plane. This sketch tool allows us to create a plane within the 3D sketch, and works the same way as the plane feature. I'll select the endpoint of the line as a coincident reference, and the line itself as a perpendicular reference to create it. The grid shown on the plane lets us know that the plane is currently active, and as a result, any sketch entities that are created will automatically have what's known as an on-plane relation added to them. An on-plane relation takes the 3D sketch entity and sticks it to the 2D plane that is currently active. To deactivate a plane within a 3D sketch, we simply double-click elsewhere in the graphics area. To activate it once again, we can double-click on the plane itself. Now, I'll sketch a center rectangle starting on the endpoint of the line. Because I had the plane activated when sketching it, the on-plane relation is automatically added to the lines making up the rectangle. Next, I'll deactivate the plane and use dimensions to fully define the new rectangle. Finally, I'll add some lines between the corners of the two rectangles. Because I will be placing the endpoints of these lines coincident to other sketch entities, it does not matter which of the three sketching planes I currently have enabled. So, any of the three will work just fine. And that's it! We finished creating this wireframe shape. In today's video, we covered the basics of 3D sketching in SolidWorks. With this knowledge, you'll be able to create your own 3D sketches with confidence and efficiency. Thanks for watching.